Hey everybody, Monsel here, and today I wanna to talk to you about hunting in Hawaii. I've hunted in Hawaii for the last three years. I've taken groups there. I wanna share some of my experiences and the number one thing that's important to consider if you want to head over to Hawaii for hunting purposes. Hunting on the Hawaiian Islands is generally a useful conservation tool, which is one reason why I recommend it so much. All of the animals that have been introduced that you could hunt on the islands were brought there by Polynesian settlers hundreds of years ago or Europeans more recently. Now, this means that there are tons of animals that don't have any natural predators and it's up to you and me and other hunters to help manage the populations of these animals. So hunting in Hawaii consists of some of these animals. Number one, Axis deer. Axis were introduced to Molokai in 1860 by a ruler in India who gave the chital or axis deer as a gift to King Kamehameha of the Hawaiian Islands. Now this deer has proliferated. It is now up to 50,000 plus deer on Molokai alone, and there's only a population of 7,000 people. The animals have also spread to Lenai, to Maui, and Axis deer are creating considerable ecosystem damage because there are no natural predators and they are in such great abundance on the islands. Number two, feral hogs. These were brought by initial Polynesian settlers many hundreds of years ago. They continue to wreak havoc across the islands and there's a very unique culture of hunting hogs in Hawaii. Oftentimes they use a knife, so it's very close, it's very personal. They use pit bulls and a knife and it can be a pretty intense experience, but it is a cultural experience that seems to be relatively unique. Number three, feral goats and sheep. Now these are uh, ubiquitous, but particularly on the Big Island, and many people will head to the Big Island in order to hunt these free-ranging goats and sheep. And finally, there are turkeys, other bird species, and I recommend if you are planning to hunt in Hawaii outside of these uh, three species that I mentioned, check out the Hawaiian hunting license page and you'll find all the different species, their seasons, etc. Now, I've personally hunted on Kauai and Molokai, so I'm gonna share with you a little bit about my experience to give you an idea for yourself. On the island of Kauai, there are numerous places where I could hunt. The public land was ubiquitous and I found that I could utilize a bow and hunt in what is considered the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. This is Waimea Canyon State Park. So there is this enormous, gorgeous canyon where it's possible to hunt with nothing more than a traditional Hawaiian hunting license. And I found this special because it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever hunted in my life and it was totally free. Now there's plenty of places that you can hunt that don't often yield very many opportunities but I can say with confidence that Waimea Canyon does have opportunities even though it's a completely gorgeous uh, place to hunt I also had an opportunity on some feral goats but I decided not to shoot the mother because the baby was right next to her, but if I really needed to eat or really wanted to make it happen, I could have on a spur of the moment spontaneous hunt on Kauai. Just a note that if you do want to hunt on Kauai, it's far less accessible for rifles and it is a great place to bow hunt or of course utilize the, the knife method that I described earlier, but not a great place if you're just trying to utilize a rifle for hunting. On Molokai, there are feral pigs and I do believe there are some sheep and goats as well, but the key animal that most people hunt when they go to Molokai that I hunt, that I bring groups to hunt, is axis deer. There are tens of thousands of axis deer as I described. Many of them are somewhat problematic for the ecosystem 
And although I steer clear of the word invasive because of the implications, it is true that hunting them on Molokai is a beautiful source of meat that is helping the ecosystem, is also uh, nutritious because they are completely wild. When I hunt on Molokai, there's two methods utilized with how many deer there are. One is to ambush hunt. So we will wait in a specific position allowing the migration of these axis deer to cross our path. Every day, the axis deer migrate towards water in the evenings and away from water in the mornings. And so it's a great way to position yourself in ambush as the herds move on their migration. If that doesn't work, then there is a spot and stock portion where oftentimes people will start to look for the animals through the elevation change and therefore have a much greater chance of success. So both of these, both ambush and spot and stock combined is what people utilize in Molokai for hunting purposes. Now Molokai is a beautiful, quaint and simple island. They have intentionally foregone much of the development of other islands and so it is really important to be culturally sensitive when visiting. It's not unsurprising to see signs that uh, extol the foreigners to come spend their money and leave. So there is this feeling that they want to preserve their culture. And so when we hunt on Molokai in particular, but all of the Hawaiian Islands, I think it's really important that we treat their cultural sensitivities with a lot of respect. And of course, treating the land and the hunt as sacred is valuable at all times. But on Hawaii, where there is such a rich culture, it's even more important to be in alignment, not just with the land, but with the people who are still there today.